everyone, it's Krista and welcome back to my world. So, I just filmed the tag video that the fabulous Kristen Game tagged me in, the What's Your Go-To Look. This is it in a nutshell. Sometimes I change it up just a smidge and the only difference is uh, I sometimes take my eyeliner and just in the outer third of my upper lash line just sort of smuts my uh, coal liner in there but uh, I didn't do that today because this is nine times out of ten this is the go-to look the products and colors change but it's usually just a very basic smoky eye so without further ado um, keep watching and you will see it basically in its entirety I edited out a couple little things did you see that? I edited. Actually, I didn't edit. I just stopped the video, went and did what I needed to do, and then came back. So, without further ado, here it is. Thanks for watching. And if you want to do this tag and you weren't tagged, then do this tag. Otherwise, I think I'm going to tag some additional people below. So, thanks for watching. So, I have already prepped my skin and eyelids for the sake of ease, and I don't edit. So, I just did that before I hit the record button. And my SkinCeuticals sunscreen, which I will always mention because it does double duty because it works as a fabulous primer also. And then my beloved YSL Tent Resist. And then on the eyes, my Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer with my Smashbox Cream Shadow in Topaz. Um, I just reach for this one or a shade like this. My Laura Mercier Eye Basics in Flax would be another good alternative, uh, especially if I don't know what colors I'm going to wear. Now my go-to look is inevitably the same look, but it could be any shade, if that makes sense. It isn't a, it's more about the technique that I use uh, for sake of ease than colors. But today I was looking, as I would on any normal day for my go-to look, and I just decided that I would use this really pretty color here and this is a Smashbox color and I think this is called Mink or Minx but it's a really really pretty purpley color but we're not going to pack it on that intently. My go-to look is a smoky eye. Just a very easy everyday smoky eye. So I'm just going to tap my eye brush in there very lightly and I don't always tap off the excess because I don't have to like to re-dip, but I'm using my favorite Sephora eye brush, and this is the shadow brush, the IT. It's got a point on it, so it works really, really well. We're going to see how this goes, just because I am doing this in the camera. There's nowhere to set up a mirror and be able for you guys to see. And I don't worry about if it's too messy because I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and blend out the sides. But I always just let a little bit run up into my crease because most times I don't use a second color. I'm going to today just because if I'm going to do a video, why not? And sometimes I do. It's always my bronzer just because it's easy. And my go-to look is one I don't have to think about, and it generally coincides with a sleepless night. I am a chronic insomniac. Um, I've tried all the medications. They don't work. They just make me groggy, and I wake up anyway. But I am taking some herbal drops right now, which seems to really be helping. Now, if we could just get me to sleep longer than five hours a night, I would be elated. So, and that is there, just like that. And it's still a little sloppy around the top, but don't worry. We'll fix that with the bronzer. And then I just take a smaller, this is the Smashbox smudger brush, which has been discontinued. I do think they offer this on a dual-ended brush, but I'm not sure. And then what I do is I just take this not all the way under the eye, but I like to just kind of connect up there and about at least the outer third to outer half of the eye. 
so that when I line the rim, my eye doesn't get too small. Just like that. And I typically don't do a brow highlight when I'm doing this look because like I said, it's it's a mindless, not have to think about it type look. And then we're just going to take my bronzer, which I'm using today, the Sephora um, Matte Bronzer in Los Cabos. Oh, so glad that I heard about this from Lauren, Redhead PhD. You need to watch her. She's beautiful. Super smart. Thus the going to school for her PhD. But she's not just book smart. She also has a healthy dose of common sense. Which... I find a lot of highly educated people are severely, seriously lacking. Think Sheldon off of the Big Bang Theory. He's sort of an extreme version of that. But Lauren's the whole trifecta. Smart, funny, witty, which isn't always the same as funny. She has very smart humor. She sometimes can be droll, which I absolutely love. I will link to her below. I've talked to her about her before. And I'm just chatting with you to pass the time. So that's my bronzer. Just put it up in there and I will clean up anything else here in a minute. I'm not overly concerned about it. And so let's see. Did I bring my eyeliner out here? I did not, so this will be an eyeliner free look, which doesn't bother me either. I am going to stop there, put my mascara on and my brows, because my brows take me forever, and then I'll pop back on and we'll do the rest of my face. So that is my brows and eyelashes done. I used my TG Brow Pencil in Blonde. Uh, I alternate between this one or my Chanel in Brune. Uh, just depending upon what sort of look I'm going with. Typically, a more formal or made-up face, I lean towards the brune. Uh, but this just adds some nice warmth to my otherwise pasty, cool skin. And I have my liner pencil, and I think I'm going to go ahead and just put some of that on. This is my Chanel Graphite. And my inner rims are always very watery, very watery. My eyes tear constantly. Not necessarily down my face, but they're always on the verge of sort of spilling over tears. So it takes a little bit to get these cold pencils going. So I just warm them up on my inner rim because I'm doing it on the back of my hand it's just a waste of product. And this graphite is this beautiful, it's exactly the color of uh, pencil lead, a number two pencil, if you were to scribble on a piece of paper. Uh, I think this is a little truer color. But so this pencil has to do double duty. It has to stay on the waterline and it has to penetrate the tears that are on my waterline so it can set on my waterline. And then it has to stay while my eyes water all day. And then generally I'll just take it here in the corner and actually drag it out onto my lid a little bit just to give more of a little cat eye effect. And I always take it in this little upper rim here just to complete the look. And I don't like to line my upper rim this one stays on really, really well, but if it's a particularly windy or allergy-laden day, uh, I don't like to take any chances of anything smutzing down onto my contacts and then having to clean it while I'm out and about. So let me see if I can warm up. We can lighten up this picture a little bit. I don't think we're going to be able to. It's as good as I'm going to be able to get the color. Sorry. It's just an odd time of day with the natural lighting. So that is my eyes done. And then I am going to take the same bronzer that I used through my socket 
Mystique, which is the Sephora Los Cabos. Looks like this. And this Sephora Round Powder Brush, I think is what it's called. Natural Domed Powder. And this line from Sephora has been discontinued, but they have it in the replacement brand. But I like buying, this is one of the clearance brushes that I bought the other day. And I'm not so much trying to contour as I am to just bring a little depth. And I don't take mine typically where everybody else does. If you look closely, ignore the serious craters in my face. Um, I'm very bony. It's my cro Magnon brow. So I just sort of take it there. And then I actually take it in the middle of my forehead. Um, I don't want to make the sides of my face smaller because my face is very narrow as it is. But just to warm up a little bit there. And then I might take what's left on the brush on my chin. So there is that. And then for blush today, it's always something that goes with no matter what eye color I'm going to wear because I don't like to have to think about my go-to look. I just like to be able to reach and grab and know that it's going to go and I'll work out. And this is my NARS Madly and my Studio Gear number 13 powder brush. And I concentrate the heaviest part of the color on my apples and then I take it up fairly high just because I want it to be a fresh faced look and I don't have a bunch of heavy contour. Just like that. And then what pulls it all together is, and I learned this trick from Sam from Pixie Woo, gosh, three years ago? I don't know. It's been a long time. It's to take your foundation brush. This is the Expert Face Brush by Real Techniques. Uh, and whatever foundation is left on it, I always do the edges and then it just blends it all in and doesn't make it look like you have cheek product on your cheek. It looks like that lip from Within Glow, you know. And then, let's see, I always do lips next. And it's always an easy, effortless, can just slap it on and go. And this is my Rouge D'Armani number 202. It's a, one of their shears. And then, no lip liner. Can't be bothered. There that is there. And then I need some concealer. And just for every day around the farm or going to ride, I just use my Maybelline Dream Lumi and Radiant. I don't actually like the concealer formulas in this line. I find them too drying. But this Radiant for whatever reason, you'd think they'd all be the same formula, but I don't think they are. And while it looks super bright, it will settle here in a minute, and then I just pull it out. And I actually prefer to use my middle finger over my, riddle, my ring finger because I can apply more pressure, and I feel like I can really just work that product into my skin. And what I do is I just come up here and anywhere I may have needed to fix any overflow, overspill of my my eye look. There it is. So I may or may not set this with powder, but that is my go-to face. So I hope you enjoyed this and we will see you when we see you.